New tonight, the debate over school vouchers is taking center stage at the state capitol. Advocates for empowerment scholarship accounts, ESAs as they're known, they say the state saves taxpayer dollars on school vouchers. 12 News journalist Bram Resnick turned to an independent source to check that claim. At Korea Bay, school voucher supporters claim in some cases they've saved taxpayers thousands of dollars on educating our children. The legislature's own independent budget analyst says they don't. The governor. For months now, Democratic Governor Katie Hobbs has warned that the cost of empowerment scholarship accounts could blow a hole in the state budget. Now is the time to advocate for accountability and transparency, not a blank check. Under the ESA program, all Arizona students can now use taxpayer dollars to cover tuition at private and parochial schools. ESA enrollment has soared in the last year, and so has the cost to the state general fund. The state actually saves money for every child that switches over to an ESA. Republican House Speaker Ben Toma and other school voucher advocates often make sweeping claims that ESAs save taxpayer dollars. Any effort to eliminate or undermine parental choice in education will not succeed. The legislature's independent budget analysts have crunched the numbers on school spending. They found that the state's basic aid to public school districts is lower than the spending on school vouchers. When a student leaves a school district and goes to an ESA, that is not saving the state general fund money. That's an additional cost to the state general fund. The Joint Legislative Budget Committee did an apples-to-apples -apples comparison removing the high cost of educating special needs children. For large school districts that receive state aid, the per pupil cost for grades one through eight in public schools was $700 less than the cost of an ESA. For public high schools, the per pupil cost was $900 lower than an ESA. The disparity is much larger for districts like Scottsdale Unified and Cave Creek that don't receive state aid. For high schools, ESAs get $8,600 per pupil. The non-state aid districts get nothing. They don't get any state general fund money. They pay for all of the cost out of their local taxes. Chuck Essigs has tracked Arizona school finances since the 1980s. It's not like everything is a savings just because those students have left the school district. The state spending on empowerment scholarship accounts will likely be a central issue in negotiations on closing a projected $850 million budget deficit. Let's send it back to you.